Healy, clearly emotional. A historic victory for the Charlotte 49ers football program. The team took down Duke 31 to 28. We are now joined live with head coach Will Healy. Coach, it's good to see you. Good morning. How are you? Good. The better question is, how are you? Have you recovered from Club Lit on Friday night? No, uh, <laughs> I, I'm actually sore and I didn't play in the game, so that's not a great start. But uh, Eli and, uh, has not allowed me to recover, you know, so it's been uh, a whirlwind. Now it's on to the next week. So uh, I'll, I'll look forward to enjoying this win after the season's over with. Well, exactly. I want to talk about that win just a little bit before we get to the next week. How significant was that win for the team after, you know, a really rough roller coaster of a season last year that the program went through? Well, I, I just think you realize what type of exposure it can bring for your program. Um, you know, the the ESPN opportunities that we've had, uh, the, the local exposure. I mean, it probably doesn't happen unless it's an, another in-state Power 5 ACC opponent. And, um, you know, you didn't want to make it bigger than what it was um, as far as inside this building, but you also knew as a head coach that this could do a lot to be able to jumpstart your momentum and, and get the buzz back about your program. So, um, you know, it, a huge win. Um, obviously, it's just 1-0, and, and and the story about this team will be written by what we do the year, but um, you know, it, it was a really good kickstart and uh, looking forward to trying to continue the momentum this week. And you all are working to write that story of the Charlotte 49ers football program. There's a good chance you all have some new fans after that win on Friday night. What do you want people to know about the program that you're building? Well, outside of COVID times, it's the most accessible program in the United States of America. Um, I want of this city to know our players and for a couple of reasons number one is um I, I think that that opportunity and that experience will make you want to come see them play uh i think the other thing is you're going to have such a great experience and perception of our football players uh that it may you know you, you may be able to develop relationships that help you hire somebody and give these guys opportunities when they finish or uh, give you a different experience than what you're used to with dealing with football players or whatever it may be. I, I think we have an excellent group of young men. Um, and I, I believe that we're working on doing things the right way inside and outside the walls of our program. Uh, the success that we, you know, had this past Friday, I think is icing on the cake, but I think the quality of young men in this program uh, is really what makes this place special. And so um, I'm looking for, I, look, as many people as want to join, I'll take you on the bandwagon. I'm good. You didn't have to believe before last Friday, uh, but hopefully we'll continue to help people around the city believe and, uh, and then give you an experience that's uh, once in a lifetime in college athletics. And one of those players who had just a standout game who we're glad to see back on the field, Chris Reynolds, Conference USA Offensive Player of the Week after that game. Yeah, I mean, great to see him back healthy. No. And uh, he's got a little bit more pep in his step now that he doesn't in going out there with a banged up shoulder. But I thought he played exceptionally well on Friday night and the moment did not get too big for him. Um, you know, he was kind of the cool, calm and collecting voice because he had a head coach that was running up and down the sidelines going nuts. So uh, I think Chris is more mature than I am. But, uh, you know, he just works his rear end off. He deserves every bit of accolades he's ever gotten. And uh, I know our team's very confident with him at the helm. So uh, he's got to continue to play well for us to have chances to win. Look, there was a lot of energy on Friday night, and I know you all felt it. You've got another home game this weekend. What do you want to see from fans? The, the student section on Friday was absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. And, I mean, it was loud. Our players are still – on Tuesday, you know, talking about how loud the student section was on Friday night. That's an amazing environment. And, you know, obviously for me, one of the things I wanted to do when we took the job here was make Charlotte football relevant on our own campus and in our own city. And uh, Friday night felt like the big time. And so that was cool for our players to be able to enjoy after having a year of, of craziness a year ago. Um, so I'd love for the, especially the students to show back up, uh, make this an incredible home, home field environment. 
Um, and, and, you know, our, our team needs to play well to be able to repay them. So uh, looking forward to a great week of preparation and a full stadium on Saturday. Well, we know it'll be a busy week. Coach Healy, thanks so much for sharing a little bit of your Tuesday morning with us, and we will be cheering on the 49ers. Thanks so much. We hope you'll join us again here on Good Day throughout this season. Would love to. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Coach. Jason.